and we start by going straight down. You know, toenails are not short enough if I can't get the blade underneath them. You want to keep this all cleaned out on the inside on a noof. Most Newfoundlands, when they move, toe in. And because they toe in, then this comes out and does that. Mm -hmm. And that's why you take it off. It only makes it look worse. That's a nice brush. Thank you. I like that. Actually, I like them all, but for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Depends on what you're doing, what you need. How do you like the three-way comb? Oh, I love it. That's been pretty popular. That's my new best friend. <laughs> my new best new BFF. You know, you're the first person that's ever been allowed to video me grooming. <laughs> well, I take that as a huge honor. I can't wait to try this on that puppy. See what I can do with that half and half coat. Oh, the shampoo? Yeah. Yeah. Secret to this is you pop it to see what it's going to do. That's one of the nice things about that comb is it does have great lift. Oh, I love it. I love it. I should be able to knock the tool out of your hand at any time, just with a light tap. This is the secret. Put your knuckles right in there and then cut across. Knuckles in the pads? Yeah, knuckles to the pads. And it'll give you just a little ledge there that won't, so you don't have a hole. It's like, you know, I talked to some of these other groomers and it's like, it's not the quantity of hair you cut off, it's the right hairs. Oh no. Uh, that's the fact, that's the thing that amazes most people. You can take the hair and hold it in one hand, in the palm of your hand, the amount of hair I take off the dog. Yeah. And the better the dog is bathed and conditioned and dried, the less hair I have to take off. Exactly, because you don't have to go as deep. You're that's just taking true. those tips off. Yeah, and I don't have to cut into curls right. or anything up here. Tell me a little bit about on the neck here, because I see a lot of people just totally mess this up. Okay. What I want is for it to come out a little bit uh -huh. and then up to the neck. Okay. Uh, I, we don't want to, you know, this is not a rooster. Right. We don't want a big bib. But in general, I, I just want a nice clean line. But a new feet has a, a you, should, you should feel the sternum bone out in front of the points of the shoulder. Okay. That is a correct Newfoundland. We won't say they all have it, but we will say that's the way it should be. Right. And <clears throat> you, I want to show that sternum, but remember you have hair that's hanging down. Right. So the point of bending will be lower. So would you say the sternum should be the arc? The, like. Yeah, the sternum is actually, well, my, my sternum bone is okay. here. And so it should come here and then angle down. Okay. That's what the dog does. Actually, if you want to know what to do to groom a Newfoundland, put your hands on the dog and find out what's underneath. And that's yeah. basically what you're doing is following what's underneath on the dog. But you have to remember that you are grooming hair that has length from the body and is hanging down. So therefore that would make your bend come lower. Right. But I've always told my people, if you have a question, put your hands on the dog, feel out what's underneath there. And that is your shape. Where you put it on the dog is up to you. you now, people always accuse me of making every dog look the same. It's only one standard. When you give me multiple standards, then I'll make them look different. Well, the mark of a good breeder is you should be able to look at a dog and say, oh, that came from that kennel. I mean, consistency there. And trust me, this one has that ability. She's standing on the table waiting for group. A lady runs by, puts on the brakes, backs up and says, is that a pouch cove dog? I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the puppies in a litter all look like peas in a pod. You don't have parts litters. This one has a good front, that one has a good rear. 
actually from here to the bottom of your coat here, I want the same length as my length of leg. Okay. They will overlap, but that's about right. where I want my line. Well, that's a good reference point. Now your goal there, you're trying to cut it so it looks now, rounded. Okay, you feel your top line underneath. What it is, is this is, it comes this way and then there's a slight S-curve at the end. Okay. And so that's exactly the shape I'm trying to put on the dog. Where some people make that straight. Straight, some people make it straight across this way. It's actually an angle and a curve. I'm going to push this up a second so I can find it. <laughs> I want one of these tables. I do too. The other thing is, is people want to put a skirt on a Newfoundland. You don't put a skirt on a Newfoundland. It follows the body. It's round. Okay. I can't tell you how many schnauzer skirts I've seen. I on comb it. out most of the time and do a bit of scissor over comb. Mm -hmm. That's a technique you must learn if you're going to be a good scissor. They, that's what your hairdresser does. They actually pull it out and then they cut it like this. Right. And if I'm going to take the little wispies off the coat, that's what I will do. I will go all over the coat like this, and that's kind of like my finishing thing. And I just want a nice clean line going into the uh, feathers. I don't want to see anything. Newfoundlands many times grow a big poof of hair right here. Right. And I just take it off. People say, well, what do I do with it? Get rid of it. <laughs> If it sticks out, cut it off, unless you need it for reproduction. You make an imaginary line for the center of the pads, okay. and only take the stuff in the center of that circle. Okay. Otherwise, you will have little notches out of the side of your feet. Oh. You do not like little notches. So don't go on the outside. Do not go out of that center of the circle. You're going to come in with your scissors as the dog is standing on the table. Mm -hmm. and come in under the pad and take care of that. You see, a Newfoundland is a heavy dog. And no matter how good the feet, you're still going to splay slightly when the dog right. stands. So you have to allow for that. If I take it when the dog, when it's up in the air and the foot is contracted, then you're going to see toes. This is usually the first thing I do is clean this out. Dogs should always have their pads exposed so they don't slide. Otherwise, you're doing them like wearing socks on a slippery floor. Now, for the foot or the hock, you want the width. The hock is the width of the foot at the widest point. Come mm -hmm. with two parallel lines up, and then the back is parallel to the front. How long do you leave this depends on how much you have up here. Okay. You can leave it slightly longer than the, the amount of hair up here, but if you, if you have no hair up here, say we have no hair right, up here. Right, which I see a lot. Like that. Yeah. And now we have this, you look like you got Minnie Mouse foot there. Right. So you have, the length is determined. In the summertime it's obviously shorter than it is in the wintertime when you've got oh. a lot of hair. So it's a balanced width all it's the way. It's a balanced width okay. always. You just have to look at it. You want this to flow naturally into this. God, that looks gorgeous. It just looks like an extension of the leg no, instead of... just what it should look like. Excuse me, ma'am. Up here. Well, it really kind of blows out the term furnishing because a furnishing is like an extra, and this is the leg. A noof is a very soft animal. It shouldn't have sharp lines on it anyway. This little piece of hair that hangs out here from under the, I've come to call that the knee socks. Mm -hmm. It's not exactly an official term, but you ask anybody in Newfoundland what the knee socks is and they can probably tell you. We use this to make angulation. Mm. So what you do is you comb it out. We don't have a fantastic amount of it here. As I said, we're just coming into coat. And the boys have more of it than the girls do. But you want to come here and follow the angles of your leg. And you can see it's wispy, yeah. but you can kind of see where it is. Right. And then I use it to make angulation. And then you hit